Hi, and welcome to another Art Fabula video. Um, I, I just wanted to thank you about the pre-orders of uh, the uh, new Art Fabula toys, the Sofubi toy, Gecko one. Uh, it's been a great, 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 great uh, pre-order. And it's still go on until Thursday. So please, uh, if you go to the website, you can pre-order the Gecko one just on the Thursday. No more. This is the last time you will ever get this color Gecko one. This is the first, first edition of the Gecko one. So go to the website and pre-order. Thank you very much for this. Now I need to put all these orders in, in place. I need to paint them and I need to begin construct this uh, little guy. Um, so, so I need to, to fix. I have, I have a lot of those pieces without cutting. Uh, I need to cut them out. This is the uncutted piece and this is a, a cutted piece. So I need to make uh, all these holes too uh, and put all the toy together. This one, this one here, this is this is the prototype as you see, uh, but this is the uh, unpainted prototype and this is the first uh, Gecko One version, the green one. And this is the one that is uh, on pre-order on the website right now until Tuesday. So please go and pre-order it. Um, so I need to paint this in this. Yeah, so let me fix these things and I will show you how to paint the Gecko Gong um, in a few minutes. So this is the complete uh, Gecko Gong without the painting after mounting all the pieces I have been cutting before. Uh, so this is just the white version, the blank version of the toy. Uh, and I need to put the color on it. I have already chosen a few colors that I want to use in this toy. Uh, and for choosing the colors, uh, you will need to get a few um, color schemes and color palettes that work with themselves together. Um, so those are the colors I'm using. Uh, I will talk about them later, but the first thing I need to say about painting the Gecko Gong, or painting the a vinyl toy, a Sofubi toy, is that you need to clean it. You need to clean it before the painting because it has from the factory some kind of oily thing around it in the in the own vinyl so you need to clean this vinyl thing so that the color sticks to the vinyl i have a video about that but if you want to know i'm just using warm water and soap to clean the toy. For the colors, for choosing the colors, I uh, watch a lot of videos, I watch a lot of uh, image, uh, I have a few reference books about toys, about insects, about reptiles, and I have uh, chosen a few pictures that I like. And then I choose the colors of those pictures. For example, for the Gecko Gong, I had this color in mind. It's a green and red color in mind with a yellow eye and uh, I needed to choose something that worked with that, those colors that I found in a, a magazine. Um, so I uh, choose a few colors from my repertoire. I have a lot of paints here, as you see, I think you see in this desk. Um, so I need to choose a few colors that works with the idea I found in the magazine um, and with the toy. The colors I have chose are uh, for the base I have uh, this uh, turquoise color and then a yellow green uh, on top of it that's the base green of the toy and then I have chosen a, a coat of uh, red metallic for the base also uh, for everything that is red or pink, for the mouth, for example, for the ears, and uh, here and here in the back. So that's the uh, red one. And then on top of that, I have also a metal peach on the uh, metallic part here, here, and in the ears there. Uh, then I use a little bit of a pink and a little bit of red and a little bit of white to paint the, the tongue uh, and the white and yellow colors not really the yellow color is some kind of uh, metal yellow uh, for the eye and the black on top of it then i use some kind of dark egg green 
for the hands and for the feet and uh, the back of the ears. And then a metallic green also for these horns uh, and a little bit around the arms and uh, the tail. So it has a, a lot of colors around it, a lot of details. And this is something that I really, really like with this figure, that I can play with a lot of details, a lot of colors, a lot of nuances. It's very difficult to see it in, on camera. And so you need to maybe hold it on hand and watch it and look at it. And you can see the blue, a little bit of blue, a little bit of two coats, a little bit of green and white uh, all around the body uh, and this metallic colors too. So it's very difficult to, to put all these colors on a picture, uh, especially here in Sweden. In Sweden it's very dark. Here inside the, this studio, this room, is very, very dark and it's very difficult for me to show you the real colors of this toy, all, um, all of the toys. But as you see, um, this is a basic scheme for the first Gekogon um, toy, Sofobi toy that I made. Um, so I hope you like it. One thing that I also wanted to talk to you about uh, when painting a vinyl toy are the tools. The tools I use to paint the Gekko Gong and the tools I, paint, I use to paint Sofobi toys. Um, I'm always using the uh, Hansa 281. I think this one, uh, these airbrush are no, especially good for the um, painting of uh, Sofobi toys. I have a video also about uh, using these kind of tools, the airbrush, uh, but this is just a one action tool. It means that you don't need to press down to get the airflow. So this one is very, very good. Then I use uh, the rapid thinner, of course, and the leveling thinner to use on the paints, uh, the metallic paints, I using the rapid thinner. You will need the rapid thinner for the metallic paints and for the normal paints I'm using the leveling one. I have uh, experimented with a lot of thinners but the Mr. Color thinner, the leveling one, works very very well with the uh, colors that are not uh, metallics. For example this light blue, normal color. So metallic colors, rapid thinner and non-metallic color, leveling thinner. Then the next thing I uh, use to clean the, I have been painting with this one, so this is, this, they need to clean that one. But the next thing I use to clean the airbrush is the Mr. Tool uh, Cleaner. This one, I'm not so sure about this one. This, this is the, the Mr. Tool Cleaner. I'm not so sure about this one because I think I can use a normal thinner that is not so expensive as this one just to clean the uh, airbrush but it's working very well uh, and I think I will continue using if I don't find anything cheaper. And then the last thing I use of course uh, normal brushes. Don't use the natural ones, use the synthetic ones for the um, thinner and for this kind of enamel uh, paint because they are going to destroy your uh, brushes. So use just the synthetic ones and be careful with, with the thinner when you are cleaning them because you are going to kill them. I use brushes in the giggle, for example, on the tongue and uh, on the eye, just to mark the details of the eyes and the tongue. But in the other toys, for example, I'm using to uh, make the details, there are black details on the head uh, to put some kind of uh, shadow uh, and then maybe to paint a few things. So the brushes are also something that I'm, I'm using a lot. And I think it's that's about everything I had here. Well, of course, a knife. Uh, I have different kind of knives. Uh, and I have also the this um, warm um, air pistol tube that I use a lot because I need to, to, to put these, these toys together and this taking around, I don't know how much time does it take to make one of these toys, uh, but it's taking a lot of time to paint those toys. So, and that's everything that I have for today. That's the way I paint the Gekko Gong, the way the colors I use, the tools I use to paint the Gekko Gong. 
uh, you had also a few tips. Uh, you have a few videos also on the channel that talks about the painting of a Sofubi toy, the cleaning of a Sofubi toy, and also the tools I'm using. So watch them if you want to know more about how to paint a Sofubi toy. If you want to get a Gekogon, a 25 centimeters tall Gekogon in this first version. The pre-orders are open now on the website artfabula.com. There you can go and you can buy this until Tuesday because today is Sunday uh, so you will get it on Tuesday uh, the 2nd of May. So that is the last time. You have only two days since you see this video right now. For you that see this video afterwards Sorry, it was a, a very short uh, pre-order as all my toys and very limited too. So the best thing you can do is to uh, subscribe to the newsletter. I will give you the link in the comment. And uh, for the next time, uh, maybe you will get a new uh, King LMA Kassar, maybe an Egi Custom, Captain Bebop Custom or something like that. So subscribe to the newsletter, to the VIP community, because you get a lot of things there too. Subscribe. Subscribe also to the channel. You will get more tips and see you soon. Bye.